good morning everybody so in this session i want to solve some more problems on beta and gamma functions so this is a video lecture for the program bsc subject mathematics semester 5 session 40 so let us start so this is the learning objective these are the course outcomes these are the prerequisites differentiation basic rules of differentiation and integration so first problem evaluate the integral integration from 0 to infinity x square dx divided by square root of 2 minus x now let the given integral be taken as i okay so let i is equal to integration from 0 to 2 x square now square root of 2 minus x can be written as 2 minus x raised to minus half dx now in this we make substitution x equal to 2t then differentiate you will get dx is equal to 2dt now substitute these quantities in this equation so that gives i is equal to integration from 0 to 2 then x so x is 2t so it becomes 2t whole square then 2 minus x is again 2t so substitute here 2t raised to minus 1 by 2 then dx is 2dt so this is 2dt which is equal to now taking common and simplifying we will get uh, 4 root 2 integration from 0 to 1 uh, t square into 1 minus t whole raised to minus 1 by 2 dt which is equal to 4 root 2 integration from 0 to 1 t this 2 can be written as 3 minus 1 then into 1 minus t raised to 1 minus 1 by 2 dt so which is equal to 4 root 2 then this is gamma of 3 and this one is gamma of 1 by 2 divided by gamma of 3 plus 1 by 2 so which is a beta m n function which is a beta m n function now by the relation beta m n uh, relation between beta and gamma function we can write beta of m n as gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n which is equal to 4 root 2 so this gamma of 3 is nothing but gamma of n is nothing but n minus 1 factorial so which is 2 uh, factorial then gamma of 1 by 2 then this gamma of 3 plus 1 by 2 can be written as 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 which is equal to after simplifying and all this we will get 64 root 2 divided by 15 so this is the solution for the given problem okay so we next we go to the next problem evaluate the integral 0 to a y is to 4 into square root of a square minus y square dy now in this again we consider i is equal to the given integral that is 0 to a y is to 4 a square root of a square minus y square dy now we again make a substitution let y square equal to a square t so that when we differentiate this Uh, we will get 2y dy is equal to uh, a square dt, so that dy is a square dt divided by 2y, or a dt divided by 2 root t, 2 root t. Okay, so then i is equal to i is equal to. It can be written as integration from 0 to 1. Then here. y means y square means a square t so a square t whole square square root of a square minus again y square means a square t then dy means uh, a square dt divided by 2y so it a square dt divided by 2 root t is equal to after simplification we will get a raised to 6 by 2 into integration from 0 to 1 t raised to 3 by 2 into 1 minus t whole raised to 1 by 2 dt Again, simplifying this, we will get a raised to 6 divided by 2 into integration from 0 to 1 uh, t raised to this 3 by 2 can be written as 5 by 2 minus 1 into 1 minus t. Again, 1 by 2 can be written as 3 by 2 minus 1 dt. Now, this is again uh, of the form beta m n. Here, m is 5 by 2, n is 3 by 2. So, by using the relation between beta m n and uh, a gamma function. we write this as 
this is a ratio 6 as it is then this is of beta m n so beta m n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n so therefore here we write this as gamma of 5 by 2 into gamma of 3 by 2 divided by gamma of 5 by 2 plus 3 by 2 because m, m is 5 by 2 and n is 3 by 2 again simplifying and all these we get pi a raised to 6 divided by 32 so this is the solution for the second problem okay so uh, next uh, these three problems i have given you as an exercise so try to solve these problems so here the first one is the value of the integral uh, integration from 0 to 2 x into 8 minus x 8 minus x cube raised to 1 by 3 dx is the first one is sin n pi second pi sin n pi third pi divided by sin n pi then fourth none the second problem is the value of the integral 0 to a dx divided by a raised to n minus x raised to n whole raised to 1 by n is the first answer is sin n pi second pi sin n pi third pi divided by sin n pi then fourth none third one the value of the integral 0 to infinity x divided by 1 plus x whole raised to 6 dx is pi by 3 pi by 3 root 3 pi none okay so try to solve this and these are the reference books and with this session i conclude now and continue in the next class thank you